Hello and welcome to another video. This is a question that I get asked quite a lot, which is why do you mute your stream when you type a password? And in this video, there's going to be some advice both for uh, streamers, but also some, you know, explanation for you guys as the viewers. Um, without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, so a pretty common operation that I do on my stream is I will, you know, upload a package to somewhere or need to type in a password to log into something or something like that. Um, and for the most part, I've moved all of my passwords into a password manager, which I would suggest for everyone, not just streamers, but everyone. Um, and <laughs> most of the reason for that is uh, this bad boy down here, uh, which is my keyboard camera. And um, yeah, I used to have to do this whole whole thing where I would switch scenes so that you know I wouldn't see it as I typed passwords on stream. And of course, that's super error prone. And there were quite a few times where I typed my passwords on stream and everyone saw them on my keyboard. And there's some funny clips of that on Twitch. But anyway, um, I've mostly moved everything to a password manager, but I still have three passwords left that aren't really password manageable. Um, and one of them is the password to my password manager itself. So you know, still need to know that one. The other is my Windows login password. Of course, I still need to log into my Windows machine. And the last is my virtual machine, um, which, you know, spoilers, but I, uh, <laughs> I use a virtual machine to stream. Um, but yeah, I don't really care about people knowing this password, and so it is literally bad password. Uh, but those are the three passwords I know. But usually, uh, you know, I'll need to use my password manager, and if I've forgotten to unlock it before stream, usually I try and unlock it first so that I don't have to actually type passwords and even think about this. Um, I will sometimes have to type a password on stream. And so let me just show you a workflow that I would often do while streaming. Uh, bin Python. Oh boy, <laughs> setup.py sdist bdist wheel. So this is like building a package and uploading it to PyPI. Upload r PyPI dist slash star. Uh, and here's where I would have to type a password. And so then I would go to either my browser or whatever place that I have my password manager open. Um, and I would realize, oh no, I have forgotten to type in my password. Um, I'm using Bitwarden, which I really like. Uh, but anyways, at that point, I would switch to my selfie scene, which you know is usually just me and uh, you know, Twitch chat over here, uh, and mute my microphone, and then type in my password. And the reason for that is, um, is, <laughs> well, actually, this paper that I read a long while ago uh, from UC Berkeley, where researchers were able to take a training set of data and some statistical models, and with very, very high accuracy, you know, figure out what people were typing just based on audio. So you can see here, the researchers were able to take several 10 minute sound recordings of users typing at a keyboard, feed the audio into a computer and use an algorithm to recover up to 96% of the characters entered. And note that this was in 2005. So computers have progressed a lot since 2005 and machine learning models have gotten extremely good at you know, taking training sets and producing reasonably high accurate results. And uh, I have somewhere around 800 hours of footage on uh, YouTube and Twitch of me, you know, typing at a keyboard where you could extract sounds from them. You can even see the keyboard in most of them and see my terminals. So you can like pair up exactly what sounds result in what keystrokes and such. And so you could build a really, really good machine learning model uh, because all of the data is provided for free. And um, and so that's that's especially why I, I don't let the audio of my keyboard go through as I'm typing a password because someone could use this to record that. Uh, but anyway, my advice for everyone is to set up a password manager, whether or not you're a streamer. And especially if you're a streamer, make sure that you're muting your uh, stream if you ever have to type a password. And um, in, a, in addition to that, like if you've typed a password on stream before, it's probably a good idea to rotate it or you know switch to a password manager for that. But anyway, uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.